At Hardush Tronhona is the Verica Hasator Jail. The fifth largest Irish population in the world lives in Argentina. Today, more than half a million people there claim ancestral links with Ireland. Unlike the Irish in other countries, however, they say they have always felt isolated and cut off from Ireland. This Christmas, they are trying once again to reconnect with their Irish roots. Then Glor Shachten, her Jim Fahey on Twitter Shachun on Argentine. The rollicking rhythms of a Kerry polka being belted out on the deck of a historic tall ship, 7,000 miles from Ireland. It could be Umbangan or Guidor, but these musicians live in Buenos Aires and they've come together for a gigantic pre Christmas hooli. I feel Irish music is my music. I don't know why, but I feel Irish music in the deep of my heart, like my music. Uh, all the tunes, all the songs. Uh, when I play Irish music, I feel it's my music. Then I gave this music to the people. They were taught by Irish nuns, and like the musicians, these young Argentinians have fallen in love with Irish dancing. We've been dancing since we were kids. My daughter dances, her niece dances, we all dance together. We practice and practice just for fun. Just for fun, no money, fun. <laughs> This is a very lively and wonderful community, this Irish-Argentine community, a unique one, quite different. It's the only Irish community abroad, post-famine, that speaks uh, Spanish, that doesn't speak English. It's also the only Irish diaspora as well that went largely into farming and kept themselves together by going into farming. It was much, much, much more cohesive community. The Irish emigrants who arrived here in Argentina in the mid-1800s came mainly from Westmeath and Offaly. 150 years later, they still speak English with an unmistakable accent. Well, we were grew up speaking English, but we can't read it nor write it. That's why. Yes, both families spoke English all our life. In, in, in when I was small, I remember when my grandfathers was in bed or sick in bed and all my my parents and my uncles and all the children around kneeling saying the rosary in English. A deep devotion to their Catholic faith was one of the most distinguishing characteristics of the early Irish emigrants. My grandparents used to tell all of us you, you don't have to miss mass. You have to go every Sunday, you have to make your first communion and all that. And we did it. All, all we, They have 27 grandchildren, 27, and they all grew in the uh, Catholic religion. <laughs> She's one of the best known of all Irish Argentinians, and today Patricia Hines O'Connor is welcoming home her daughter-in-law and her son, who have spent the past three years in Ireland. Two years ago, she herself made a hugely emotional trip back to Ballyvahan in Clare, to the home of her grandfather, Patrick Hines. The day I went to the house where he lived, uh, it was very emotional for me. I, I really cried, and if I remember, I may, be, <laughs> I may cry, and I don't want to do so. I felt this guy was crying with me. And I thought in my grandfather, being just almost a boy, 17 years, having to leave his, his motherland 
to go so far away. I thought in him leaving the house, probably just with a bag and a jacket, no more, and going to a country because he needed to come here. He needed to go out of Ireland. The past year in Argentina has seen growing demands on the Irish government to make passports available to the grandchildren and great-grandchildren of the original emigrants. Juan Miguel Killeen's daughter, Maria Micaela, is now fifth-generation Irish Argentinian. The Irish government doesn't seem to realise that there's such a huge Irish community down here and they have such a huge passion for Ireland. Spain, after the economic crisis here in Argentina, Spain relaxed visa restrictions for Spanish people in Argentina of third and fourth generation and fifth generation, and Ireland should at least do the same. To give Micaela the opportunity to advance her future, to uh, advance her education, they deserve better. A lot of people are becoming interested in Ireland because they want to learn more English, they want to learn more about the country. Uh, in, I would actually want to go to learn about more about the language, about the, the country, about a bit more about everything. Yes, uh, I think that they, they would like to know much more about Ireland. It, it's a very interesting, in, a very interesting country. And, that's, and I would like to go to practice rugby in an Irish team. I, I'm a rugby player and I would, la I would love to go there because they play very good rugby. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Throughout the week, the Irish Argentinian community has been partying and remembering its roots with a mixture of nostalgia and pride. I enjoy it too much. We all do it. Uh, we like to see, we, uh, we like to uh, get the news of Ireland and uh, all things about Ireland is, for, is an interest, interesting for us. I am proud of being an Irish descent. I am proud of being Argentine, but I am proud of being an Irish descent because I had a good example, a very good example, and now we have a good example in the world with Ireland. You behave well, that's good. And we have a good name in the world, the Irish and the Irish descent. An hour after daybreak and on the banks of one of South America's great meandering rivers, Children wait on a ramshackle jetty to be collected and ferried to school. The journey from their scattered villages to the school takes three hours each morning. The journey back home against the river current can take up to four. In the heat of summer or during winter floods, it can be exhausting. But for these children and their families, this is the only hope they have of breaking out of the poverty trap they live in. Well, Jim, I want to tell you that this is a very special boat. This is a very special situation. And this is a boat that I must say that is a boat of, of the hope for all of, all of these children because they have now the only possibility in their lives to get a normal education. Making the journey with the children today is Foxford shopkeeper JJ O'Hara. He's come here to tell them he wants to help their school because it's named after the founder of the Argentinian Navy, Admiral William Brown, who was born in Foxford. And because Brown, two centuries ago, came to Ireland's help when it needed friends and money. Uh, today I'm basically revisiting history. In 1845, Admiral Brown, who had many of his battles on this river here, um, sent $500 to uh, Daniel O'Connell and the Patriots of Ireland to try and help in their freedom. He was a huge hero here, but he never forgot his homeland. So what I'm going to do is repatriate that $500 here today, and I want to see for myself how, uh, how, how bad the conditions are at this school. Almirante Guillermo Brown, nacido en mi pueblo natal, in Foxford, in Irlanda.
For shopkeeper turned historian J.J. O'Hara, the handing over of the $500 to school principal Anna Beretta was a symbolic gesture which he hopes will lead to an ongoing fundraising campaign in Ireland to support the Admiral William Brown School on Los Laureles Island. Of course, what I saw here, $500 is not really going to fix. But what I told the children really was that uh, the admiral that would have defeated two empires to look back in 2005 and to see a school like this that hasn't got the basic necessities. You know, they have no water purification, for, for example. No electricity. Basic things. And I promised them that I would do what I can to help. And uh, on, on, on that score, I hope that the children of Foxford and I hope that the children of Connemara can help us. 7,000 miles away, this school in Letter Malloin in Connemara also has historic links with Argentina. Recent research has discovered that money collected by Irish Argentinians in the early 1900s was given to Sir Roger Casement and used to provide school meals for children here during several years of near famine. All I know is that there was £200 sterling collected in 1913 uh, that went towards relief in these areas uh, in, in South Connemara. And indeed again, uh, after the death of Casement, uh, in 1919 or so, uh, another relief fund was established to further assist the plight of uh, school children in, the, in these uh, areas, in the in Karunrua area and in the Letermolan area. Here in Foxford and also in Letchermalan this weekend, there have been pledges of financial support for the Argentinian school and its pupils. Each year in our secondary school we have a fundraising activity, fundraising approximately four or five thousand euro, and uh, we certainly will be able to make some contribution to assist these children. It's very important from our educational point of view to involve ourselves in helping other people. Our students appreciate the value of their education and by making a contribution to other children in a very impoverished situation, they will do their best then to uh, help the education in those children. Families living along this section of the riverbank struggle to send their children to primary school. Secondary school is almost always outside their financial reach. A few do make it through and all of these children dream of better times. Alcides wants to be a football player, to play in River Play. Tatiana, she wants to be a teacher. Um, tu nombre? Antonella. Antonella wants to be a cooker. School principal Anna Beretta is a near legendary figure on the river. This week she said, we aim to make these children feel part of a fair and sovereign country and I would at least like to seed the field, as I know that dreams can become a reality if we cherish them enough to go after them. Long Cowley Stadul i Golifert Buenos Aires, Tho Skor Kjoltori Dan Sko, Balihe Egor Hesun Olvor Nanolog, Neil Bunch, the light at Forwar Nagyoltori Ogesha Le Herin, Ach Jershid Gopichi Dan Ro Le Kjol Tradition Than Herin, Nor Hulishid E Er Kernini, No Excession Ansha San Argentine. I feel Irish music is my music. Mohim Gobem Kjol Hane Kjol Na Herin. Nina Tam Kane Fach, Don Kjolshin, and Nevno Mokroi, Nafuny Ags Nahoran, Follow Me Mead, Augustogum Eid Donadini in Shah. Tho Naskora Grupa, Agus Skel Rinke, Bonihan Shah, Le Jeff Nina and Nus, Agus Borra Lodger Taka, Fui Hultur, Agus Litriot, Naheran. I put your jacket of credit on Google too. In, in, it's an Argentine, a fake good people, like a gauge to question a Kjoltorian chin. I mean, Bass to come here, I can wish on te, come here for an era. That question, the on simicon, a Gnadini Yoga Kahora, on simicon, some culture, Gaelic, and some Chol Gaelic, and some Winka Gaelic. Santa Maria, Madre de Dios.
August thought a shan to the shun Ella, false on lodger, a mask schluck na a dog era, kate quigably on a hen. Irlanda para mi representa. Is quit war a mohil e era, Margaret go one on a head and my head is mohit. Is she the antilist on Idoch the Edenoch? For she the unloch or an Idoch shen, I guess a great of Catholic, I guess a clan or dog a laku. An ish is cheer on severi era, I guess Bawale, Galore, Argentini, Oga, and Cada all that Portux and Rochmus shen. Bawalo, Gedorfi, Pos, Edenoch. Than a glunta a hilri on a hemerki, a honic os erin, it does ama. Wulgir him actamirta and tear kerr no cui brinahen. A nursion, when a realtor's na spawn and is esca ego rina go one on the spawn, pass a oil. Few not of the entrio, no one cattle glue in a guest. But yard go realtor's na hedon, a lehed hena a yena. Iger and Dolin, Ger and Pubble Eronox in Argentine, Galenashid Araya, a Kohu Noskana Nis Lodger Le Herin. Jim Fahi, Nog Tiji Kahar, Emuenas Ares, Nahargentina. Eg Colonel Sroja, a Gartlor Buenos Aires, thought on slow a goffer, le drift and tango. Augustly atmosphere spreeul, prive cahar na Argentina. A shomra go orloros chunas raja, tho rang dog a clay le fumani, Augustly duhlon na Guelga. An shot tho Fernando O'Hillian, a gmuna Guelga the Huger, a tho giri an changa a olum. Toshe an doroha. Toshe an doroha. Toshe an luch. Toshe an luch. Eh, quiero aprender a estudiar gaélico porque me parece un idioma fascinante. Te me quiero un juez que olum, marquésim, cortango, cochetza olun e. Puala mi hurs como es posti, no revés clan arum. Tan tango que sever o que chuglotishin. Dar lumsa, ni tango varo e. Eh, te se fuar te chanuar, te hace tiri. A torch court, Aaron Rong, Augustan Skaljog shot a new to Henri O'Kinnis, Hahiluk Horlekonda Vio, a tower court effigual hig on Argentine. Tasha Dokracha, Tasha Gohintach, Guil Caron or Kuigar, Ermahul and Shaw, Hig Folum, Changa Nagalia, San Argentine, Augustashid, Egg Egg. Afro on on uh, Tanga, on Spanish, Gaji on on Gaelia. Agus uh, Bacartum uh, uh, Scanon Jesho, a horse Rashlum Gohern, Agus a Hispanians na Scalena, uh, Igunda Wio, Agus uh, Snakunda Hela. Eh, Mir Kinal, what I just say. A here do it, a Hokrame Gaga Olam. Be made direct tarish on Tauron the Enya of Lustal. It's me and Rawlish and Tango. Has a mere court to dinner a wound of and Tango Hum, a Gasonic mayor or ferry and show. Glocken Nadalti and show, Gadogishet Tamil father and Gaelga Hort Low, Akshe and Duklanata Aku, Nabahanan and Gaelga, a Shreve, Agus Alev, Divishtia the Couple Blian, Agus in a Yishin, a Venon Cora Gaelga, a Hunyal and a Chela. August Bawalo, Changawalayen of Le Enya, a Vachanan Kuna, no Korda, a Hort Loiv. Jim Fahi, no Tijikahar, in Buenos Aires, in Argentina. To school through the Pampas down Argentina's second largest river has become a way of life for these children who make the six hour round trip each day. With them today is Foxford shopkeeper JJ O'Hara. He wants to help the school and has come to symbolically hand over $500 to its principal, the exact amount which Admiral William Brown sent to Daniel O'Connell in 1843. Of course, what I saw here, $500 is not really going to fix. But what I told the children really was that I would do what I can to help. And uh, on, on, on that score, I hope that the children of Foxford and I hope that the children of Connemara can help us. In the early 1900s, Irish Argentinians came to the rescue of school children in Connemara by sending a large amount of money to Sir Roger Casement. There was £200 sterling collected in 1913. Uh, that went towards relief in these areas uh, in, in South Connemara. And indeed, again, 
uh, after the death of Casement, uh, in 1919 or so, uh, another relief fund was established. The two West of Ireland communities planned to provide the school with running water and electricity and the ferry boat with a wide range of electronic teaching aids. Jim Fahey, RTE News, Los Laureles, Argentina. They normally speak Spanish, but today the pupils of the Irish College in Adroge have burst into song in English to greet a group of visiting Irish politicians. This is one of the most famous Irish Argentinian schools in the country. San Patricio College in Rosario is a leading secondary school with a history dating back over a hundred years. Both of these schools would like to have closer links with Irish schools and to be able to take part in student exchanges. Well, I would love to because uh, I'm a, first of all, because I'm an Irish descendant and my, my dad always talked to me about uh, Ireland. We have already, uh, some students have already been, but uh, younger students have never been there, so I think that it would be a great experience for them in life. And, well, I would like to go to Ireland because I know that it's a, a very nice country and I have some friends there, and some, um, my ancestors, I have some ancestors there. Students at both schools say they'd be particularly interested in becoming pen pals with young people in Ireland in advance of exchanges. Most of the children have got emails, but for us it would be wonderful if we could write letters, if we could get addresses from children over there and they could start a kind of pen friend club so that they uh, get to know children from there, teachers get to know teachers. So it would be wonderful if anybody there uh, would be interested in contacting us and uh, develop this kind of uh, interchange with you. Christmas in Argentina, as in Ireland, is a time of emotional homecomings. Today, Patricia Hines O'Connor is meeting her daughter-in-law and son, who have spent the past three years in Ireland. Two years ago, she herself made a hugely emotional trip to Ballyvahan in Clare, to the home of her grandfather, Pat Hines. I felt this guy was crying with me. And I thought in my grandfather, being just almost a boy, 17 years, having to leave his, his motherland, to go so far away. I thought in him leaving the house, probably just with a bag and a jacket, no more. The government landes the Irish government doesn't seem to realize that there's such a huge Irish community down here and they have such a huge passion for Ireland. Spain, after the economic crisis here in Argentina, Spain relaxed visa restrictions for Spanish people in Argentina of third and fourth generation and fifth generation and Ireland should at least do the same. The Department of Foreign Affairs says it has no plans to extend Irish passports to the great-grandchildren of Irish emigrants in Argentina, but the availability of working visas is under review. Jim Fahey, RTE News, Mendoza, Argentina. Ta adroiga er can the chuig valle at ta immordus Admiral Brown. Then with the Lavillon dinner, it on the Quig Valley. Gahot and Ranian too, Tatarich on the Vrunok, Augustan Stodas at our Egger and Shaw, Morleoch Nashunta. Gujisha is Bjog Ola, severe Kundavayo, er an Balya Starol Shaw, now a winter a droge, er Arch Gohish and Admiral Brown. Akanishta Korya Kunde, August Oshianthok the Ferberha, and Shaw, August Egonavayo, Jirihar Boron Nua Kurfi, Kursi Kamar Saja. Kursi Tarasorakta, August Mas Fader Kursi Tradala, Idrun Da Kande, August and Da Hir. 
an chakfen shok katja a horla and kid came so hoplal for malta either come of yo august bordus and admiral brown august creek no for in chamanish me morta neblina shogin ta koil na hakadulukta er skalena ernaka a droiga august ta sul ga mein naskena august ko ibru le skalena in erden snablinta a ta mach roin for cartoing a giro sta er nadini oga agus vehex muino er abar skolena tanga ve agnia in erden agus an shosan er contain a torok chance to dini oga as chirna herden uh, igochina chirtan sho agus spanish olum agus bejor gelga uh, una don uh, dalti an sho agus an an chorus uh, shin den uh, Nyarto agus kohu agus gomeachtini on Argentine chirka him. In Ovila is a do by Shaket Quiga Blian of Vossian Tadmal Brown, agus John Lofer Kogal down the Vio and Shusson Argentine, than Ked U Reeve, Lesh and Okoit of Varcoil. Thorak Sul, Gujuki Susle, Go Vila Dena, Osmeo, Gudian Argentine, Leve Portuk, Snahimukthi, Comora, Jim Fahi, No Tijikar. In a droga, in a Argentina. The pupils of Los Laureles School live in tiny isolated villages along the River Parana. The ferry is the only way they have of getting to and from the school each day. The fundraising drive launched in Foxford has already raised almost 5,000 euro. We're collecting money for the Admiral Brown School that is on one of the islands in Argentina. Um, each day the students spend nearly eight hours travelling to and from school. So if we could get two TV DVD combos maybe just to help them. The DVD will be used to show interactive educational videos on the ferry. The Foxford group is also planning to provide the school with other vital facilities. They need electricity. That's Really, they need electricity, so they need solar powers, they need generators. Um, they need a system for purifying water. The fact that they have to buy water and yet they're surrounded by it is absolutely crazy. Um, they're going to hold a raffle and they're going to collect the money. And uh, there's going to be a denim day as well uh, for all the students. You know, they pay two euro to wear denim. So we're hoping uh, companies will row in, send us some uh, serious money and I'm hoping also that kids will give us just the, the euros and what we intend to do when the Irish Navy make a trip in March is to actually send this stuff and it can make a difference. Ta adroiga er can the chuig valle ta immordus Admiral Brown. Ta denra the lavilun dinner idir na chuig valle. Gachot amranian thu ta tarot an van vrunuk. Augustan stodas at our egg and shaw, more leoch no shunta. Gujisha is Bjog Ola severe come the voyo, er an balia starol shaw, now er winter a droge, er arch gohish and admiral brown. Akanishta korle hunde, August Oshianthok the ferberha, and shaw, August egon the voyo, Jiriher borrow noa herfi, kusti kamar soja, kusti tarasorakta, August mas fader kusti tradola, idrun da hunde, August and da here. An chakthan shok katja a horla and chied kem so hooplal for Malta either come of yo agus bordus and admiral brown agus creek no for in chamanish me morta neblina shok hugin. Bring back, bring back my. Bring back my.